Hi, welcome to another tutorial from HowTos. Today we'll be going through on how to use the Grab Driver app. So if you have activated your driver account, you should be going to Play Store or App Store to download the Grab Driver app. So bear in mind you should be downloading the Grab Driver app instead of the Grab Rider app. So we go to Play Store, look for Grab Driver, we click install. So the installation is pretty easy and straightforward. Let's open up the app. So we should be allowing uh, Grab Driver app to have access to all these informations. We click allow. Okay, we should be allowing this permission for Grab app to appear on top. So this, this is very important. Okay, next we need to click log, login with Google. Do make sure we are logging in with the Gmail that we registered with. So do make sure you register your account with a Gmail as Grab Driver works better with a Gmail. So when you are logged in for the first time onto the app, there will be a tutorial. I do recommend you to complete the tutorial for you to have an understanding on how Grab works. Okay, we are in the Grab driver app so on the top right corner there is a slider you will be using the slider to online or offline okay, for ios platform there will be no slider it's just a button the green button in the top middle this will be your button to go online or offline okay you should go online only when you're ready to accept jobs when you are not ready to accept jobs, do not go online because when you are not ready to accept jobs, if you do not accept any jobs, your rating will be falling. This rating are very important for a Grab driver. Next, we are now on the main screen of Grab driver app. Okay, click on bottom. We will have three ratings for Grab Driver app. These are very important ratings. The first rating is AR, which is acceptance rating. The second is DR, which is driver's rating, and the third is CR, which is cancellation rating. For AR acceptance rating, this is counted on how many jobs that we accept or ignore for example if we there are three jobs we ignore two jobs our ar would be roughly at 33 percent we must make sure our ar is above 30 percent at the end of week or we may get suspension from grab the next is dr which is driver's rating dr is given by us from riders as a measure of quality of our service. As a driver, we should be aiming to achieve the highest DR as possible. Getting a very low DR may cause us to be suspended from driving. DR is also important for calculation such as incentives. As for cancellation rating, this rate rises when we cancel a job that we accepted so if we accepted a job we should not cancel it as a driver we should keep our cr as low as possible ar and cr refreshes weekly while dr is permanent to your driving life you could be suspended from grab if your ar is very low or your CR is very high at the end of the week. On average, you should keep these rates as good as possible by the end of week.
So next, click on Wallet. There are two wallets in our Grab app. The first one is Credit Wallet. The second one is Cash Wallet. So Credit Wallet functions as a commission for Grab. Let's say if we receive a RM10 cash trip from Rider, Grab will deduct its commission, which is 20% from our credit wallet. We will be keeping the cash from Rider. As for cash wallet, this is the money that we have. All the credit card and promo payment will be paid into our cash wallet. We can request withdrawal from our cash wallet anytime. It would normally take around one business day for the cash from cash wallet to reach our bank account. We can also use the cash from cash wallet to be transferred to our credit wallet as commission for grab. Before we start to drive, we need to top up our credit wallet with a prepaid amount so we can start to receive job. To start, click on credit wallet. So we will now have the options to top up with account or top up with PIN. This PIN can be brought from Petronas or KK Mart store. Once we purchase this PIN, we will have to key in the PIN into the app. The amount key in will be reflected into the credit wallet. Next, we can also top up our credit wallet from our cash wallet. Start by cl clicking top up with account. We select our cash wallet account and we type in our amount to top up. So that click done and next. So, as a rule of thumb, we should be keeping our credit wallet as high as possible. This is because when your credit wallet is very high, the chances of you getting a higher fare job is much higher. So, the general rule for credit wallet balance is around 50 ringgit to 100 ringgit. We are good to go after topping up our credit wallet. Next, we can slide our slider to online. Now we should be able to accept jobs. Jobs are called ping in grabs. On the main menu, there is a map. You can see different colors in the map. So the red colors are the areas where riders' demand are high. As a driver, you should be heading to this red area as there are more demands over there. Sometimes you get a job which brings you out of the red areas. Once dropping off, you should be heading back to this red area slowly. Okay, now we have our first incoming ping. This ping window will display the details of this job. You can see here the fare is RM13. The mode of payment is cash. Okay, you can see the pickup distance is around 2km. The pickup address and the drop off address. There are three types of payment mode for Grab. Rider will usually use uh, cash, Grab Pay, which is credit card, or promo code. On the bottom, there is a button to accept or ignore this job. You have 10 seconds to consider to accept this job. If you do not click accept within 10 seconds, the job will be considered ignored and your AR acceptance rating rate will drop. 
you will be not able to see the job details if you have set your app to accept all jobs automatically. There are benefits of uh, auto-accepting jobs which we will go through at the end of the video. So we will be accepting this job. We will click accept. Once we have accepted a job, our AR will rise based on percentage. After clicking accept, we will go to another window. On the next window, we will have the same data from our ping. On the top right corner, there is an arrow button. Click on this arrow button to go to Rider's location. Grab app will automatically feed the GPS location to Google Map or Waze. Once we have clicked the arrow button, we will have the options to use Google Map or Waze. I would prefer to use Google Map as it's lighter and it's faster. So now we have to navigate to the rider's pickup location. Usually I'll be sending a message to rider as a confirmation. You can click chat in the windows and send a template message. Take your time to arrive, do not rush. Click I've arrived once you have arrived to the GPS location of the pickup. This will notify rider that you have arrived to the pickup point. Please note that the 5 minutes cancellation policy starts from here. You should only click I've arrived when you reach the destination of the pickup. While waiting for riders, we'll be going through the cancellation. To cancel any accepted trips, click on three dots on the bottom right. Sometimes you may accept a job accidentally, so you have the options to cancel this job, but this will increase your CR, which is cancellation rating. Sometimes there are rider who doesn't show up and does not respond to any call or messages. Make sure that you have clicked I have arrived and waited for more than 5 minutes. You can cancel the ride by clicking more with the reasons rider did not show after 5 minutes. So this will not affect your CR. Make sure that you only click pick up when the rider has entered your car and confirm the drop off destinations. If you have clicked pick up, you will not be able to cancel the trip yourself. You will have to call the customer service to cancel the trip. After clicking pick up, the button will change to drop off and the address will change to the drop off address. Click on the drop off button to go to the drop off destination. Once you have arrived, click drop off. You will now have the options to key in extra charges such as toll. Please note that tolls are additional to the fare. You will have to remember the amounts for the toll. 
please take note that you should not collect any cash for grab pay which is credit card job the grab pay fare or any promo codes will be reimbursed to your account afterwards do not charge anything extra besides the toll and the fixed fare as this may get you banned from driving you should call the customer service to report if you have charged anything extra to rider. Click on proceed and click confirm. You have completed job and you are now ready to accept the next job. You will also have the options to rate your rider which is a happy face and an angry face. On the next part of this video, we'll be showing you how to enable auto or manual accept for any incoming ping. Click on more. Click on your face. Click on all settings. Now you will have the option to enable or disable auto accept. The commissions for grab would be a little bit higher for manual accept. But you will be able to select your job. Usually the drivers would prefer a higher fare jobs. With auto accept, you will be able to enjoy a lesser commission with incentive from grab. So you should drive according to your own preference. Thank you for watching. So do subscribe and like if this video has been helpful to you.